Hey, it's a new month, which means it's a new episode of Character Development. This is part three with Coach Greg Winkler for the Stoppage Time newsletter. First of all, let me share a little bit of my coaching background with you. I've been coaching youth and high school athletics since 1980. I started coaching in college. I've been a head varsity coach since 1998. And prior to that, I coached middle school and high school football, wrestling, and track. I was athletic director for 15 years and president, coaching director, and competitive coach for a youth soccer program for over 20 years. And I'm sharing this with you to give you a perspective of how my coaching philosophy developed. Coaching at the middle and youth level helps to mold the player development mindset. It humbles you and helps you realize that developing healthy and positive young people should always be more important than winning. Let's get on with our character lesson for this month. Last month we talked about you and your staff coming up with your values, your core values. So you've done that, now your work begins. When we start our program, when we start trials for the week or we start the new season, we have a character theme attached to each day. So whatever our core values are, and we pick four, we assign one of them to each day. And we look for opportunities in practice to emphasize the trait that we're talking about. For example, Growth mindset is one of our values. We look for our players to demonstrate that they've acquired new knowledge or they display a new technique or they're displaying the tactic that we presented during training that day. We watch for it to show up on the field. Then we stop and we recognize it. The next day, maybe we take another one. We, let's say we take joy. We look for examples during practice where the players are having a good time and they're really enjoying the game and they're passionate about the game. We may not stop practice to recognize that, <clears throat> but we will highlight those efforts at the end of the practice that day. After the first week of presenting a different trade each day, after that we pick a theme for the next week. So we introduce more character values as a theme, and we look at maybe what's coming up. Maybe we have a game against a rival that's been really tough to beat or it seems like something always goes wrong during that game and we don't have a lot of success. So maybe we pick resiliency and we talk about things that could happen, things that could affect our flow and how we can be resilient and overcome that. We've also created a leadership journal for our players. They have questions to respond to each week related to the theme that we're teaching. It includes a self-evaluation after the tryout period and then again, self-evaluation after each game. We collect those book with booklets every two weeks. The coaching staff collects them. We read them. We make comments. It's another way to hold our players accountable. I have found that character journals help you discover issues that might be building within the team. One season, we discovered some minor activities that could have led to a bullying incident and caused some uh, embarrassment to our program. A player not involved shared an observation through a journal entry and we decided to deal with that issue as a team in a discussion about our values. When a coach decides to implement a character-based program, it must be intentional. A poster on the wall or words on a t-shirt are reinforcements, but they do not take the place of putting in the work. Next month, we'll talk about how we can use core values, how they can help with team discipline. So until next month, keep on kicking.